Mark, you're still watching Weekend Live on SABC2. As our regular viewers would know, we can now celebrate our architectural landscape on a weekly basis, one building or structure at a time. This week, we caught up with architect Daniel van der Merwe, who took us to his favorite building, the Yeovil Recreation Center. We are on the corner of Rally and Fortescue, which is part of a Yeovil kind of business district. Um, Rocky Street, the famous Rocky Street. Yeovil, as you know, is a historical area. It's, uh, in fact, it's the first place in South Africa where people from all color voted. Um, it's been a hotbed of uh, activism, political activism, and I'm happy to report that today it's rising out of the ashes again. Um, the reason why I thought this is an important building is that this is the community center of Yeovil. So in many aspects, it's the heart, the community heart of Yeovil. What you see here is a space uh, that was retrofitted using concrete to create a robust structure and a building that's got very much of civic uh, presence. In a way, if you look, you will see that the building creates public space, layers of public space as it moves inwards. Um, with steps and ramps and places for people to sit, which allows the building to look out onto the street and for people to participate in the street scene. So the building is very much alive. The building is being used inside, being used for anything from church services, uh, uh, yoga classes, needlework, uh, cooking lessons, all of that. So it's very much involved in skills training for the community. And as such, um, I think people in Yeovil are quite fond of it. What I love about the building, firstly, as I said, is the fact that it creates layers of seating uh, as it moves away from the street. And secondly, the way that it integrates its existing context. If you look at the way that it makes space for the trees, if you look at the way that it's creating holes, you can see the trees through the holes, but that also allows light in. And of course, what I love about it is the fact that they've used concrete here. Uh, concrete is the most durable material. It's robust. Um, and of course, it allows one to be sculptural. You can do anything with it. I like to call concrete the liquid stone of the 21st century. So what you would see about the building is that it very much incorporates community artists. If you look at the flags, you would see that it represents all the diaspora, all the different members of the uh, community, which comes from different parts of Africa. Um, some places you will see mosaic inlays. Um, so very much it incorporates the crafts and the arts of the community in its making. What I like about the building also is the way that it integrates with the street through for example, it's view windows where it looks out, activities from the inside is visible from the street and vice versa. So the building looks at the street and the street looks at the building. I think it's a very successful building and I think what I enjoy about it is that unlike other civic buildings which sits behind high fences with security checkpoints and entry points very much isolated from the fabric, this building integrates itself in the community. It invites the community to participate, and it's therefore people take ownership of it. Uh, people participate in it, people love it, and I think it's a welcome addition to the Yeovil community.